Hello. I am the Amazing Atheist. Now in a stunning 3D! I wish. No, no, no. I'm not in stunning 3D. I wish I was. I wish I was. I'm still shooting this on the webcam thingy, as you notice. This is, of course, a long video Sunday, part 742 or 7. I have lost count. Um, but yeah, I'm still shooting on the webcam, but I'm standing up. I got legs, bitch! Legs! They're awesome. Ow! I got a Charlie horse doing that last leg lift. I really need to get in better shape. Ha <laughs> ha! That'll never happen. Uh, by the time that I actually find the willpower to do that, by the time I amass the willpower to get in better shape, I'll be too old to fucking do it. Like, once you're 30, so I think they say once you're 30, that's the body you're stuck with or something like that. Maybe it's 40. I forget. It doesn't matter. This is what I got to work with, folks. This jiggly-ass gut. Wow, yeah, everyone just left. Like, ha, ah, gone. All right, yeah, whatever. Um, so this is how we do things here. Uh, Long Video Sunday is uh, endless raving lunacy. That's how we uh, we kick it on Sunday. So we kick it on Sunday. This first time I've ever talked in a video and had my hand on my crotch because I realize you guys can't see what I'm doing with it. So I can just be like rubbing my balls, grabbing them, jiggling them about. Just get in there and just really... Yeah, that's good. That's good stank right there. Um, damn, my hands weren't really on my balls. I was just fucking with y'all. Yeah, they were. <laughs> they were. No, I'm just fucking. They weren't. They weren't. They were. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no. No, no. But seriously, yes, they were. Um, you'll never know. It was one or the other. You can't see what I'm doing down here. I could be wearing no pants. I could be pantless right now, and you wouldn't know. That goes for pretty much all my videos, though. You never really see below the waist. Look below the waist. Ha! Ah, I'm wearing pajama pants. Hee hee. Doesn't matter though. Doesn't fucking matter. Why the fuck? What the fuck do you care what kind of pants I'm wearing? You don't care. You already saw them anyway when I did the leg lift. Now that I think about it. When I was like, Pachaw! that kick feels a lot higher than it looks. I feel like I'm kicking over my head and shit, like, yeah, roundhouse! And then I look on the camera and it's like, <laughs> Alright, whatever. So I'm trying to learn, oh, can't get that close, because then my eyes cut off. You don't like this. It's like, oh, hi! There's no connection here. Yeah, uh, gotta stand at least this far back. Uh, or duck real close down. Hi! Um, so yeah, yeah, uh... Trying to learn to draw uh, manga, you know, which is a Japanese art style, you know, uh, like think anime, but with comic books. God, it's hot in here. Let's turn the fan on. Okay, that's good. So now I got a fan blade over my head, distracting people. That's good. Constant movement up there. Draw your eye away from me. That's a that's an ingenious technique. Let's squeeze this down a little. Yeah, that's better. Now you can't see the fucking blade. Alright, so uh, I'm trying to draw manga, trying to learn to draw it anyway. And uh, I'm doing okay, I guess. Uh, kind of having my... Uh, I'll let you... I'll just... Here. See? Okay, see? Now, this one here, that ain't bad. That's not terrible for a beginner, right? I mean, that's okay. Uh, but then this one, over here, that that's just... It's, it's fucking terrible. What is that? The sad thing is that I drew, I drew this one before this one. I mean, after. I mean, this one that came after. You know, I did this, and I'm like, I'm getting pretty good. And then I drew this piece of shit. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? So I'm trying to get a consistent level of quality going. I guess I guess what I'm trying to do. But uh, so far, it seems sporadic. Like I'm like, wow, I'm getting really good, and then I'll do something shitty again. I'm like, wow, I'm just as bad as I was when I started. But at least I'm, sh uh, I think I'm showing gradual improvement. But when you suck as bad as I do, it's hard not to. That's the good thing about being absolutely terrible at something is that uh, there's always room for improvement. You know. <sighs> so uh, what's going on on YouTube? Fake Sagan is leaving the YouTubes. He's gone. Fake Sagan's like, I'm out of here. Kiss my ass, bitches, I'm gone. Well, that's not how fake I can talk about. Kiss my ass, you fucking punks, I'm getting out of here. I'm fucking done with this shit. I can't stand this fucking censorship anymore. 
and he's gone just like that. Bye bye, Fake Sagan. Oh, what well, Fake Sagan? People all ask me, you know, I'm, uh, you know, amazing atheist, you're gonna do a Fake Sagan deal? You're gonna do the same thing? You're gonna be like uh, gone, you know, because of censorship and shit? Look, YouTube has fucking done more to me than they have to anyone who gets my numbers. Uh, YouTube hates my fucking guts. I'm convinced of this. They algorithmically demote the shit out of me. They constantly do things to fuck with my account on purpose and then take forever to fix them. They hate me. They hate the Amazing Atheist. If it weren't for my popularity, I'd be fucking gone. The only reason they don't kick me off is they know that they'd have 20,000, 30,000 fucking fanboys lodged up their ass like a fucking suppository, screaming and yelling all throughout their fucking colon, and, you know, they just don't want to deal with the fucking hassle. They figure best to just marginalize this prick, which they have done. Um, at least that's what I blame my lack of superstardom on, but maybe that's just my delusional justification for not being as popular as Fred and Smosh and the other special ed kids who found their niche here on YouTube. Uh, and it is niche, by the way. It's not niche, it's niche. Don't mispronounce that word. It's uh, it's terrible to do that. Um, but no, I'm not leaving. I ain't going fucking any place. Because that's what they want. Fake Sagan says they want, you know, they're big, you know, he, he said, you know, they, they, he want, they want to you know, you to fucking react like, oh, I'm going to post an offensive video, and then they gets all over the place, and that's what they want. That's not what they want. What they want is for you to say, fuck this, and leave. And they want to be left with alone with their with their precious Smosh, and their precious Fred, and their precious Liga Iga, and SXE Phil, and all the nice, friendly, ooh, this is true, la 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 la, ooh, ha ha ha. Here's my opinion, but it's not too offensive. It's good and bland. That's the American way. That's what they want. So I'm not going to give that to them. Uh, I don't care what restrictions they place on me. I will find a way to be subversive. Because you can make a G-rated movie that's more fucking subversive than Malcolm X if you really fucking try. I believe that. I believe that art thrives under censorship. And I'm going to fucking thrive. So I don't care what YouTube does or says or throws at me. As long as I'm here, as long as I have an account and I have the ability to post videos, I will kick this place's fucking ass. That's my guarantee to you in 3D, I wish. That'd be awesome. Um, I had a weird fucking dream last night. Strange dream. Very odd. Very strange fucking dream. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember all of it. I remember that I was a character from the anime Hunter Hunter and, uh, which I watched recently. Good fucking anime, by the way. It's kind of underrated. I've never really hear people talk about it, but I thought it was pretty fucking good anyway. Uh, that's neither here nor there. But I was fishing, and I... I don't remember what character I was, by the way, but I was fishing, which leads me to believe I had a fishing pole, which leads me to believe I was probably gone, which is the protagonist. But uh, anyway, fishing, and I kept hooking people's mouths, and that was bad. And then there was some kind of sea monster. I don't know what the fuck was going on with that. But the whole, the, all that sort of boring dream shit. No one likes to hear about other people's dreams. But then there was one really weird fucking thing. And that is the Somalian lung cancer snake. That's right, Somalian lung cancer fucking snake. This shit is fucking with my mind. Because this is a snake. Okay, this is my dream. This is a fucking snake. It's like a, as big as an anaconda. And it bites you. And you get lung cancer. All right? And then I guess the snake comes back after you gradually die of lung cancer and fucking eats you then. That's fucked up. Like, you know, no such creature could ever possibly evolve, obviously. Uh, but it's still fucking freaky. I don't know why. It's funny and it's freaky at the same time. It's freak-unny or funicky. I don't know. But anyway, I'm scared of the fucking giant Somalian lung cancer snake. It freaks me the fuck out. It, it was it was big and ugly and horrible. It has no teeth, by the way. It's just like, remember that, you know the Komodo dragon bites its victim and it uses bacteria as a weapon? You know, the victim kind of just staggers away thinking, you know, I didn't get bit that bad, but then it fucking dies because it got infected as shit. It's, it had a mouth like that, only instead of infecting you with uh, some kind of bacteria, it gives you lung cancer. Don't know how that works. Uh, don't know the physics behind that, or the biology behind that, rather. 
I guess everything is ultimately physics when you boil it all down, though, huh? We occupy a physical world, therefore all is physics. If you, uh, that's what I believe, anyway. I suppose some people believe there are intangibles out there. I personally don't. I think everything is qualifiable, quantifiable. It's all just a matter of time. Well, even if we can't do it, it doesn't mean it can't be done, you understand? Even if the limited human mind cannot accomplish such feats, that doesn't mean such feats are impossible. That just means we can't fucking do it, you understand? It's like, it's, it's probably possible for, you know, we know it's possible for something to leap so hard that it can escape the atmosphere. We've built rockets that can do it, but we can't do it. We can't personally, woo, I'm going to jump through the atmosphere and fly around in space. And if we could, our heads would explode. So, you know, that, that'd be bad, I guess. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if you're someone.